Now let's see if YouTube removes this video because of medical misinformation. I'm just going off with these news articles are finally catching on to that we knew all along. the flu for 14 days should she get a flu shot well no if she got the flu for 14 days she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself and so she, if, she she it? if she really has the flu if she really has the flu she definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine if she really has the flu she right. should not get it again no, she doesn't need it because the, it's the be, it's the most potent vaccination is getting infected yourself hmm <clears throat> The most potent vaccination is getting infected yourself, says Dr. Fauci in 2004. Fast forward to present time, now is vaccination or nothing else? Until these studies are coming out and exposing these fools for who they are. Now look, they pushing something that's very uh, money driven and it has a bottom line to it. There's a great wealth transfer. Uh, the rich got richer and the poor got poor. Look, YouTube, these are just my opinions, okay? You want to remove me, remove my videos? I don't even got 100 subscribers. I'm just a small fry. But this is what you do. This is what YouTube does. You guys were right all along. Natural immunity does work. It does work just as great as the vaccine, if not even higher. According to uh, the NBC article that came out last week, you know, I, I just find it real funny. It's a shame how they ostracize, marginalize, penalize, uh, uh, shun people who didn't want to take this experimental vaccine. YouTube, this is, these are my opinions, okay? You want to keep removing my videos? Look, people were forced out of jobs, couldn't travel here, couldn't do this, couldn't do that. But for the ones like me and y'all who stood strong, we were proven to be uh, somewhat correct. YouTube, somewhat correct. Calling people anti-vaxxers, conspiracy theorists and whatnot. You know what, let me stop talking. Let me let the so-called experts talk so I don't get this video removed. CBS, y'all wrote this clip real quick. Um, saying, well, bringing a doctor on to say how natural immunity um, does work. So I don't have to say it. You can hear it from the doctor's proverbial horse's mouth. Roll the clip. All right, so a new study finds that uh, COVID-19 immunity, the natural kind caused by getting the virus and then beating it, can be just as protective as getting a vaccine. The study published in The Lancet found infection-generated immunity can cut the risk of hospitalization and death from COVID-19 by up to 88% for up to 10 months. Dr. Stanley Perlman joins us now with more. He's a distinguished chair at the University of Iowa, speaking of Iowa, in the departments of microbiology, uh, immunology and pediatrics. Uh, thank you very much for being here, Doctor. Uh, your big takeaways from this study? Well, first, thank you for having me. My takeaways from the study are really that a natural infection works pretty well in preventing hospitalization on subsequent re-challenge. This is not a complete surprise. This is what we expect immunity to infections to do. Hey, you heard what the doctor, uh, uh, I believe from the state of Iowa said, look, Natural immunity, uh, of course, works. It's, it's like a no-brainer to that guy and no-brainer to us as well. People seem to have forgotten about natural immunity when this whole COVID situation uh, came about because people were driven by profit, by greed, by power, by control. In my opinion, YouTube. Now, look, I'm just going off data points, facts, stories, articles, um, analysis from these so-called experts now who are changing their tune, hopping on with the experts that got banned. These experts that got banned a couple years ago, they were saying this years ago. But now people are finally catching on to the obvious truths. Um, just because you found out the truth now does not mean it wasn't the truth all along. And when y'all get a second, when y'all get a, a chance, 
Look up Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System, also known as VAERS. I'll just say this, VAERS has been getting an alarming spike in data in reports of adverse events. And that's all I'm gonna say um, since these jabs rolled out. Now, these people should be uh, uh, questioned, reprimanded, but <clears throat> these higher ups, they kind of untouchable. So it is what it is. We down here, they up there getting richer, richer. We getting poor and poor, not really moving up as we would like. We got to fight harder for eyes down here while these unelected bureaucrats, WHO and, 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 and CDC and all these guys that we never voted for, they got to say in what we do in our life and how we move. Nah, keep standing up for what's right. Man, we need more leaders and less followers. I'm out.